Hi all, welcome to Supercoder. So in this tutorial, we are going to work with our manage users and create user module. So basically in manage user, we can list all the users. We can add a custom advanced filter. We're searching on the different types of fields. We can search any types of fields here. We can apply the filters and fetch the data. Then we can add the JSON data and view the JSON data. All the things we can do in the manage user. Apart from that, we are working with create users. So basically in create user, we can create users like suppliers, admin, and also creating the customers. All these things we are going to do in the manage user page. So let's get a start and let's work on this tutorial. And also if you are new to channel, please subscribe our channel and please like the video. And if you have any question, please do comment. Now let's get to start. So first, if you see, if I come to my users, click on create users you can see it is showing the errors so you must need to check whether the url is of create user it should be form select user so it will come to our the front end code src and the app.js file so it will navigate to the dynamic form here so if i check my database for the modules and if i check uh, create users so let me check create users you can see the ui must be slash form slash users now after that if you see i am getting something error which we can say we show you if i see i can get the error 404 page not found because we didn't found the model so we need to check this also and also I, I wanna do one more thing. If there is something error come, we need to handle this situation also. So for that, what I can do, just come to VS Code and in the dynamic form, component dynamic form, then our dynamic form here. Here in the gate API, I'm gonna show some error messages. If there is some error, right now you can see there is error, but it is not showing. So what I can do? Here, if this forms dot data, then I'm gonna show this thing. Else, I can simply show a toast error. Error in fetching form data. Save it. This page, and it is showing still error. It should be like this cost for data. This page again, it is showing some error. Let me check. Line it is showing error. It is showing on the error line number 41. If I come to okay, here, it is the error. So I'm going to do what? Discard this code and adding it here. Now save it with this page. And you can see error in fetching from data. Now it's working fine. After that, I'm gonna set in the loader also. Like here, if I see my code, it's using form config. And if it is form config, you can show the stepper. Otherwise, we can show the linear progress. So instead of that, uh, I can write a more different logic. Let's add and here for now. And here, close it. And we can say if not form config and loading, then we are going to show this linear progress. Save it back to Chrome. If this page, now you can see the form getting fetch error, and we can see the error message and the loader has been gone. Let's check, it's working fine for other pages. Like if I come to add products, you can see it's still working. Now after that, uh, if I see create users, you can see this is not showing any form. So what I can do, just come to VS Code and here for my backend code, come to the backend, e-commerce inventory, then user service, or I think it's for the e-commerce inventory, then helpers, and here 
in this uh, dynamic form models adding my models for the user so users check the url or form name it's users so after that users user services dot users now save it back to chrome refresh page and you can see it's working fine i can get all the models details checklist information detail information everything but here if you see the profile pic is coming inside the detail information let's move it to the file field so for that what i can do in the file field i'm gonna add it like it is profile underscore pic save it refresh page now it is file pic it's go to the documents and files after that without tips is super user is stop is active so what i can do in the explorer field i am going to add this this stop this super or i think it's this super user then is underscore t after that save this file refresh page and checklist has been gone now after that they won't don't need to so the plant type so remove the plant type also the land type remove it save it refresh page it is also gone now after that let's so set let's say the default value for basic details so coming to the user model in the user services models and here are the choices field so here i am going to set default equal to india in the account status default making active default active and here in the role here we don't need a user type in it only admin supplier and customer and staff and there is other things like manager super admin so super admin not required we got super admin will create only one time here super admin is not required because super admin will create only one time so remove that super admin and manager is i think remove that manager also we don't need this manager now after that here uh, staff supplier that is okay we don't need user remove that user let's make it default so that here the default make it english default english here default time default or time zone making utc and using 05 30 After that, making default currency INA, you can change it also to USD as per your requirement. I am making INA. After that, make it a uh, default plant type free. Uh, default free. And also after that here. One thing is missing, which is added by user ID. So let's add it also. Add it by user underscore ID. Then cell on direct cascade length to null to save it. Let's run the migration command. Terminal. Start on the terminal. The Python main dot py. Make migrations. Then migrate. Starting the server again. Let's close it. And after that, let's check it is rendering in our front end or not. So back to Chrome. Refresh page, and you can see this time it is rendering with the default value. You can see it is working fine. After that, let's run the department. IT. 
designation CFO. Next, here if you see by clicking on next, there is required required field in the dynamic form, but it is not showing with abstract, like we is not showing the required field symbol something else. So what I can do in this step uh, component in the component step text component now now after that here I am going to do what is writing required equal to field dot required now save it also doing same thing with the text area so required field dot required save it back to Chrome refresh page now if I check again click on IT designation next here if you see this time it is showing abstract so it is required field if i click on this you can see it is getting highlighted that is perfect let's fill this form test user or test user 3 giving the name test user 3 and I think we don't need the name field because we are already taking the input for first name and last name. So what I can do, come to the modus. We already have first name and last name. So we don't need this name. Remove it, save it, and then the magazine command. Make magazines, then magazine command. Then run this server. So what I can do, come to helper, then plant it, last, login is not required, then we have last device, which is not required, and I think if I check with model, date join, uh, date join, let me check, date join, so if I check, Date join. I think date join is a default value. Default value, so we don't need it. So remove that also. Last device, date join. Date join. Date join. Remove that. And after that, last IP also remove that. Last IP. Last IP. Then domain name. Remove that also. After it, save this also and refresh this page again. If I check again, IT, CO, next. And you can see other fields have been gone. Just print the required field test user 3, test user 3 at the rate gmail.com, test user 3. And test user 3. Click on next, giving the address. Test user 3 address. Click on next. Additional address. Test. Test. Here, test 1. Test. Click on next. Giving the file. Selecting the file. Selecting a new file. Or in this to this file, the one upper files, submit it, and you can see how our user has been created. By checking database, let me check the user table. Users, I check here. My user has been created. You can see. My user has been created. It has all the data. And but if you see one more thing, here the password is not in the encrypted form. So we need to make it the encrypted form. So for which, what we have to do? Just come to VS Code. While saving the data for user in the save function, here I am adding some logic. If not self dot pk or users dot objects dot filter self dot pk and 
getting the values password dot first password not equal to self dot password then in that case i am going to make it what self dot password equal to make password self dot password import this make password so we should up from contribute dot as a make password now after that if you see this condition i added a simple logic if we have a password which is not in the encrypted form we need to make it in encrypted form now save it back to chrome refresh page click on create users again creating a new user try to create a new user at co next giving the first name test user 4 test user 4 at getsmail.com copy it then test user 4 test user 4 next test user 4 address next test user 4 test user 4 test user 4 Next, set in the file. Set in the file again. Put files. Click on submit, and it's done. If I check again here, this time password. Refresh this query, and if you see this time, our password is get in the encrypted form. Also, let's verify password is in encrypted form when we're doing this sign up. So if I come to the postman. And try to hit the create user or sign up from the postman. Password is getting encrypted form or not? So it's sign up. Now after that, here I'm going to do what? I'm giving test file and test file test file. Just to sign up. If I check the response, you can see our account has been created. If I come to Chrome and checking my again, test five user password, and if I see, test five, and it is in encrypted form, so that is working fine. After that. It is done, and it is working fine. Next, we have to do one more thing. Just come to Reactor, and we need to create a manage user page. And we also need to remove these customers and supplier because we are going to make it all this thing manage via our manage user. So what what I can do? Come here in the module sections. I'm just finding my customer. Uh. Customers here. I make is not in the menu. I'm just removing from the menu. It will act as a module, but it is not a menu. A first page, and you can see our suppliers and customers are gone because that all comes from the user section. Now we need to work on the manage user. So here the UI must be same. Manage underscore users. If you come here in the support and finding manage, uh, let's check here. Manage user. It must be same. Manage underscore users. Let's add a slash. Copy it. After that, come to VS Code and let's create our uh, front end. So also need to create a back end. But first, uh, let's create some. So let's first create the backend, or like first create the API for fetching the users from the current login user. So for that, what I can do? Just close all this tab and come into the e-commerce inventory and in our 
controller coming to the user controller creating a new serializer user serializer with uh, filter with filters I'm gonna show it uh, what exactly it means here it is for file peak next we need to add some other fields also so just add comma we don't need these three fields we need some other fields instead of that right now just for for now adding a all i will check that what is required if it is not required we will remove that next we need to create a api so okay just come to the product services copying my previous api Work controller. Let's copy this product list view. Copy it. Close it. Paste it. Then import the generic from race framework. Framework. Import generics. After that, we are changing this to user with filter list view change this to user with filters custom pagination import this import this change this to users and after that import this common mixing API that's it change this to users with filters now save it and let's link this to our URLs. So URLs, copy the same URL, change this to users or uh, user list. And get user with filters, take user, user with filter list. I check here, it's perfect. And user list, uh, filter, edit filter, save it. Let's check it's working or not. So copy the URL, come to Postman, and here uh, do what? First, come to the login and try to log in with the user admin. After that, come to my category pane, get category list, changing this to earth slash user list. I click on send, and you can see it's working fine. You can get your all the user details, but here we don't need to some other fields. Like I want to export some field is super users stock. So here what I can do, just copy all this thing. Just copy it. Copy it. Come to no. I need only the some items. So here click on click on inspect and let's uh, see that d equal to this json data d dot is or objects dot is and here you can get all the keys. So instead of doing copy paste, you can get all the keys here. Let's copy these keys, come to VS code. The reason for doing this. I can get all the keys instead of writing manually all the keys. Now after that, that's why I didn't write manually. Paste it. We need to array. We need to array. Here we don't need a super user. Uh, remove that. After that, we don't need this top is active. Remove that. We don't need other things like uh, let me check. Don't we need I think plant type? Oh well, yes, leave the plant type. I think that is okay for now. We don't need this group and conditions. Move that. And I think we don't need password. Remove that. Save it back to Chrome to Postman. Click on send again. This time we can get the data which is required. It's working fine. Now after that, here you can do one more thing. Uh, 
instead of showing this data it will render perfectly let me show you uh just come to yes what i can enter this data simply as it is required but here if you see the previous tutorial i use a global search to finding in all the fields but instead of that i can make a custom filter also like we can say advanced filter so we need to handle this situation also to handle the advanced filter so what i can do so i want to create a advanced filter to handle the uh, each key filters like i want to search only in username i want to search only on date of birth i want to search the uh, user type which is only admin user type which is only supplier user type only customer then how we can do this thing so for this we need to add a custom filter or we can say advanced filter so we need to make it dynamic so how we can do this so for that just come to gs code and here in the common api of this common list view do what just copy this code copy this whole code hitting another method this time i use common list api mix in which filter so that's why i use the name filter we can use filter to use it for all the fields filters now here after that i am going to return the filter fields filter fields and here what i can return first i am going to return key so is a dictionary key and here return the field dot name field dot name and how we can get this field dot name so we can get this by for field in serializer class dot meta dot model dot fields dot fields a field dot name in the get split field i think that is not required yeah for field in uh serializer meta model dot field and we can return the fields here filter fields filter fields save it to postman click on send and if i check okay we need to use this uh common api so here change is to with uh, with filter so this way import it so earlier we are using the simple list api but right now i'm using my filter api click on postman click on send click on body this time you see i'm getting the filter fields and i'm getting all the filter fields that is working right now now here i need to exclude some field i don't need this field which is uh, not exist in our model or serializer so for that what i can do I need to bs code and here i'm just writing a simple logic if field dot name in serializer class dot meta so say dot meta dot fields so as we know for serializer class has a meta method and meta has a fields so you see the user controller we have a class serializer class we have meta and inside that we have field so i'm just taking the fields which from the model is exist on this serializer class then we are going to return this on this filter method so if it is exist return that now save it back to postman this time if you check it is going to remove the is super user so i click on send this time you can see the other data which is not required has been gone that is perfect now after that we need to return the options so as you remember like some data we need to show in the options like if you see the row 
which is as a option like admin user that I don't want to use the text field I want to use the option field so for that what I can do I am going to return the option field so come to VS code and here what I can do I am going to add uh, option and here what I can do id price 0 and value price 1 that's it after that here I can say for uh, choice in field dot choices so if the field has a choices then you can get the four building choices if choices and also we need to add a more condition if field has a choices then return the field choices else return none so for that uh, what I can do I can run this condition this array condition completely only if field dot choices else none now save it back to postman click on send and if I see it is showing null for all and if I see it is showing option for my countries and for I think it is some some four languages that is fine if you see this logic let me show it more clear way so what I can return I just access all the key by field by name then we access option option we can access from the choices and choices we can get the field or choices and this code only that if our field has only field has only choices else it will return none like some have, some have tax field they don't have choices in that case we can return none if it is field choices then we can run the for loop and get a object of the we can get a list of objects with the id and value that's it now after that all things are perfect come to postman that is working fine now we have to render all these things in our front end so back to vs code Now after that, uh, let's work on the front end. So close the backend code, close it, close it, and let's on the work on the front end. So first, let's register our URLs. So coming to app.js file and adding a URL. Manage users, adding comma, comma. Let's create a component. So for creating a component, let's come to pages. Create new folders, users. User is already created. Create a new file. Manage users. Dot js. And just copy the product. Manage uh, product. Create code. Copy it. Just copy this. Manage review code. Copy it. Paste it here. Change this to manage users. Copy it, change it in top the function name. We don't need for ID, move that. After that, if I see we don't need this, let's remove it. We just commit this for now. We don't add any review. Commit it. Get user list, we don't need get user list, move that. After that, we are going to fetch the get users. I want to change the API endpoint to so change the API to earth user list. Earth user list. User list. After that, we don't need to, I think we need toggle status, but Let's leave for now. Just comment this code for now. So that 
need to change to get users. Now save it. Let's and let's link this to any users. Manage users. Save it back to Chrome. Refresh page. And you can see I can see my all the data. It is saying fine. I can see the first name, last name, date join, email, address, country, profile pic. All the thing is fine. Next, to do some changes. Like here for the date, we need to add a custom decorator for formatting the date, which we have done previously. So come to the backend, the user services, controller, user controller. Here, uh, what I can do? Add the created at or let's check the exact name. First, created create parse. Okay. Now we can say our data data is getting parse. I come to this page. I can see the date and time in parse format. That is fine. After that, all the thing is perfect. Next, we need to in the title and this add reviews. So what I can do? Come to manage reviews and here to add a breadcrumb. So add let's. And now clicking the add user, I'm going to redirect it to dynamic form. I'm going to redirect less form less users. Save it. I click on users. I can navigate. That is fine. Next, we need to change the title. Let's come to the manage product. We are just copy this code from manage title. Let's copy this code, read, and here paste it. Home, then manage users, manage customer, liar, admin, and star. So I added all the titles. So the user not get confused. Come to Chrome, and you can see our uh, home. So let's manage customer, supplier, admin. Add in a bracket. Add perfect. Manage customer, supplier, admin, staff, add users. All the things are perfect. Now after that, we need to render our custom field also. But before that, uh, let's format this date also. Date join. So the controller here date join. Uh, we need this format like uh, uh, let's check the format what I'm using earlier. So helper. I'm doing this format. Open this format. Paste this format here. Save it. And this will not. And you can see the date has been changed to the actual date format. After that, we need to show our domain user ID and add it by user ID. So we can say. Last login also have option. Do that also. Added by user ID. Here we can say realizer dot realizer method field. Define get inside by user ID. And here I can use the same approach which I have done product services. In the controller, product controller. Here, if you see, just copy this uh, 
तो मैं यूजर आई डी एड बाई यूजर आई डी कॉपी पेस्ट इट ऑल्सो एड इन दोमेन यूजर इंडर को आई डी ना सेव इट बैक टू क्रो ओके पेज लॉजिक मैंने जारी किया होता है बस लैंग बस लैंग नाउ सेव इट बैक टू पोस्ट में लिख दूँ सैंड इस वाइंस में आ रहा है और इट इस वाइंस एरर लेट्स चेक वेट इट इस वाइंस एरर तो इट इस वाइंस एरर On the get hidden by user ID. So what I can do here same way, the same logic. Adding here, hit by user underscore ID. Copy. Save it. Back to wrong. Go back to postman. Different side. Now it's working fine. Come to Chrome. Refresh page. It's working fine. Now I can see the ID. Don't have any users, but that is fine. I don't know why it is not showing. I can get the ID, but if there is some uh, issue, it will be in the it will be like this way. And if add by user ID not equal to none, as planned. I think this is the correct way. Let's check it again. You can see I can get in the Z value. That is the correct way. I add the wrong syntax. Okay. Same way here. We don't need this this thing here. You know, we need only on the end. Save it. Refresh page. I can get the domain is ready. Add by is ready. That is fine, I think. Now we need to render our image. So again, back to VS Code. As I remember, I think in Manage User, I see we have status writing. We don't need this. We need to change to the file underscore t. The file type. The file and Type and change to 
üzenik. And I don't need uh slowly view slowly view images all the things move it. Then I don't hit this button. Remove it. Now save it back to Chrome. I press play again. I am seeing the no images is showing. And if I come to user controller, then come to users. If I see the profile pic, it's in test field. Now here let's change this profile pic to JSON field. Because we are gonna use JSON field, JSON field for all the five places. Save it. Next we need to uh, delete all the profile pic images. So SQL. Update command, then it all this data and total pick to blank or say empty array. So, does it run the magazine command? So, view terminal. Then make magazines, then magnet command. Now it's done. Run this server again. The reason for doing this uh, is because I need to show the images here in the JSON field. Previously, if you see or remember, we are always using JSON for file field. Right now, we don't have any file that's that is in blank. After that. Let's get up one more user and write file is playing or not. Department IT. This is new for the next images. Page user six. Page user six. Add delete general form. Copy it. Copy it. Copy it. On next. Address, click on next, user 6, setting a new file again, click on upload file, click on submit, and if I check again new file, and you can see this time logo is showing. So that is fine, I think. Next, we need to work on other things also like social media links, additional details. But before that, let's work on the filter option. Right now, we don't use the filter option, which will pass dynamically, which is filter fields. So let's use that also. So just below search, I am gonna add my custom filters also. So in the manage users, I think we don't need rating. Remove that. And we will also build an account status. I think account status is not account status. So, account status here we need a button or switch. We can say account status, account status. Or we can save the header name status and here instead of showing button switch so a switch which and after that let's enter switch make it check true. And the second one, make it a uh, check with a uh, false count status. If check and this second one, make it switch with false. 
copy the switch, copy it, paste it, make it active. This one make it inactive. Make sure this uh, value must be same with our model. If you see the account status, it is active and inactive. That's active inactive check false save it back to chrome i see you can see the status found status is showing check and uncheck that is working fine after that let's show our custom field so back to vs code and here what i can do scroll down just adding some uh, state most uh, filter filter fields set filter fields then here copy the filter fields and in the response here set filter fields that dot is data dot data Let's copy the filter fields. Filter fields, copy it, paste it, and we'll enter this thing. So, here, after the search, here, uh, what I can do uh, for fields, filter fields dot length greater than zero, then map, and here, I'm going to do some more changes. Like, I'm going to first adding a grid container facing to let's close this grid here and now after that in the filter fits i'm going to return a grid item key and giving the size so i'm giving access 12 SM6 SM6 then MD4 and LG sorry go this grid and inside the grid I am gonna swing my item so if item has option I am gonna swing as a auto fit so here just copy the auto fit from here Step select component, copy this auto field, paste it here. As user text field, here we don't need required, remove that. Error is also not required, helper text also not required. Remove all these things because this is a filter field, not a form field. That item dot option if it is exit run this code as run this code and it should be a fit dot option that's it here don't take required and here instead of no we can use key and it should be option that's it postman I'm returning option. Then here also field dot key. We don't have any default option, so I remove the default option. Here again, if I see we don't have options, we have option, and it should be key modified. Move that. In, it will be key now we are also key save it back to chrome refresh page and i can see all the inputs right now it is not in formatted form that is okay let's make it formatted so here uh, what i can do just using the same concept e dot caret 
Now just to work, just copy this thing and create a helper method. So in the helper method, this helper put format text. Put most format text. Text. And of the that's it. Let's use it in here. So here uh instead of chat map, the label use format format text. it also here and use it in the format text here format text here now save it back to pro you can see the data has been formatted all the label has been formatted let's add this uh, auto complete just add a margin top sx and see to save it now you can see all are looking perfect after that uh, here in the grid adding margin bottom to now it's perfect after that all our fields have been perfect swing but here instead of showing this way it is looking too much too much space so we need to make it collapse and so only then simply click on advanced filter so for that uh, what i can do i'm just uh, adding our more let's add one more uh, grid this grid make it container facing to again creating a grid it up close the grid and this time I am gonna change it with like uh, for access make it 12. Just copy this thing, paste it, and create a button for advanced filter. And for this, we need to manage a state. So, most so advanced search. Default was here. If I check, if so advanced search, then so the button on click set so advanced search false. I advanced search, so I simply add an option I advanced search and advanced search. That's it. If it is showing, hide it. If it is not showing, show it. Save it. And after that, we need to use a collapse. So here, collapse. So this this will only show when our search is showing. And after that, close this collapse. So save it, and this for access to it. For other stages like uh, for LG make it 9 for MD make it 8 for SM make it 7 after that we have make it LG equal to 3 MD equal to 4 SM equal to 5 
save it back to chrome you can see advanced search if i click on it it is files i did it is getting hidden make it uh, full width full width save it after that adding some margin so here i am using some different concept of margin like i if you see here if i get responsive you can inspect if i come to responsive website you can see i need margin bottom when are in the mobile devices but we need margin top when we are on the desktop devices so we can use this concept sx and after that you can say margin top and that is required only when we have lg 3 so it will add margin top 3 when device for lg so so you just understand that it will add a margin top 3 when the device is lg it will add margin top 3 again when the device is sm and it will add margin top again if the device type is md and after that i can add margin bottom and we only when we have access now how much we can add margin we can simply say 3 so i can add margin top only when we have this mark when we have desktop or small devices all these things and we can add margin bottom only when we have the mobile devices just copy the same thing here and paste it also here now save it back to chrome and you can see it's looking fine it's doing advanced search click on it so i close it by again small size you can see margin bottom is showing for the small devices that is quite fine after that we need to make this filter and work on it so for that uh, we need to add a form so here add a form here form provider then methods form provider then adding the form cut it paste it on submit methods dot handles submit on submit filter submit filter now uh, if you didn't understand where like, where the method is come this coming from our book form if you see that is already there and register watch all the things are already there which we use in react book form so all this is already defined in the web manage review and we use the same component that's why we can get the methods so the thing is very simple we simply use form to get the methods and from the methods we can access the register watch values form states error controller reset all the things so we can use in our form now after that we need to create a method so copy it submit filter data on source dot log data after that adding a button also here source apply filter so here for this grid for the grid loop has been done i can simply add a grid item just copy the same thing this time index will not come we can swap it up variant full width and apply filter also copy the same thing again and we can say reset filter now save it back to chrome let's make it large 
click on advanced search i can see about apply filter reset filter after that if i select something language english uh, it is showing some error uh, let me check the default value option fill dot key null okay there it's only fill dot key not fill dot key save it refresh page again try it on search telephone language english department it now if i click on submit come to console come to console I can get all the fields with the language and we can get the department with IT. So we need to pass this as a filter in our methods while searching. So come to VS Code and I am gonna do what? Const a filter fields. Advanced, advanced filter fields default make it empty object now after that i'm gonna filter my items so i can do what simply if you see here all these values some values are blank so we don't need to pass in a filter so what i can do const uh, filter data equal to objects dot from entries and here object dot entries data then filter key value and the value not equal to blank the simple thing I use the state of form entries get all the entries from the entries filter the data where the value is not blank then set a filter filter data and we can call this method when this changes on filter fields filter data we are setting it we'll fetch again so in the get user we need to pass our filter fields so what i can do dot dot equal dot or copy operator passing out all the filter fields now save it back to chrome and try it again this time click on network tab this type network tab there will on search searching with the country india language english click on apply filter and you can see it's working fine it exactly hit our api to check payload you can see your passing country language and the data which which we receive is all the things in the form but we are passing only that value which is not blank, like country and the language after that uh, what i can do i need to write a backend logic to filter the data based on the country and languages or other fields so what i can do just come to vs code in the user controller or just come to the default helper method and in this uh, logic we are just before search fill to write a one more logic to handle all the other fields so for this what i can do you see here in the data let me show you something uh, filter filter params fill to self dot query dot get uh, Convert to dictionary. Now print it. Filter params. Save it. View terminal. And if I hit the API, you can see all the params. So if I come to Chrome, and if I replay HR, replay HR, and if I come to VS Code, you can see all the uh, dictionary data which you are passing for getting hit here. So we need to remove these fields like page number, page size, search, order. ID 
these are not required because this is coming from our the default pagination things. I need this data, country, language, other things. So how I can do this? So first we need to filter our data. So I can say need to remove search that is okay. Search ordering, then page size, then page. After that, or or we in uh, it will move then here uh, filter fits let's get a condition if we in filter forms then do what filter forms dot pop we Let's uh, print it again. Print data params, save it to Chrome and replace our. I see this time I'm getting only country India language English. So the filter the other, I filter the other fields. After that, what I can do? If filter params, then in that case, uh, I can say search condition equal to Q and here for E comma value in uh, filter forms dot items dot items and here after that search condition appending the other condition search is search condition I am appending the other condition with key and the value so creating a search uh, condition with all the key values pairs. After that, I can say query set equal to query set dot filter search conditions. Now, after that, I'll save it and let's check it's working or not. So, back to Chrome and close it. You can apply filter and you can see I think it's working fine. If I check it is showing for data only India and I want to fetch only user. So role, if we don't have user, try to fetch only admin. Apply filter. We can see we can get the only admin data. After that, we need to work on the reset filter. So what I can do is come to manage user and on the reset filter. Down. Button and click reset filter. After this method name, I'm creating a method or reset filter. And here, uh, what I can do methods dot reset and also set alter field plan. After that, now here you see if I select count status and role, if I click on set by filter again, the other things like if I fill these fields, click on reset, this thing get reset, but not this one. So let's fix it. So for that, uh, what I have to do, uh, this change is default value to value first and we need to reset all the fields. So what I can do, just save it and try it first. This is going to work or not. So advanced search, root, reset and still it is not uh, resetting. So for that, uh, what I have to do? Just uh, let fields equal to blank object. Then for a const field of filter fields, then fields field dot key 
equal to null and set that fields as a null. Save it, refresh page and try it again. Advanced search, account account status, active, role, admin, account reset. And you can see it's working fine. Now after that, all the thing has been done. Our filter is working, our search is also working. Let's uh, see other things. Like uh, I didn't create API for toggle status. So let's uh, add this also. So back to VS Code. And in the controller, just come again. Just copy the code for the product controller. And copy this copy this update. Copy it. This is the controller. Paste it. Update. Users. Bring this to our users. It filters. Users. And we are changing this to user or you can change it to ID equal to self dot box pk. Uh, that's it. Save this file and let's uh, work on this thing. So, first come to again urls.py. Copy this. Copy the same. Create user. Then adding pk. Then update user. Update user. After that, copy this URL back to Chrome. Uh, back to manage user. Then in the toggle feature, toggle status, enable it, create user, auth, you have to pass the ID. Pass account underscore status, it users. Have it, it users. Now after that, all the thing has been done. Save it and let's check if it's working or not. So back to room, this page. If I check this one, the active, it's working. Active, it's working. Now after that, uh, we need to show social media link and additional details. So for this, uh, I am using same concept. Like if I come to manage products, I have my uh, additional data. Just copy it in manage user, paste it, and we have like instead of using from this way, come to reduce. I think I added here or uh, reduce and questions. I think I added somewhere in the warehouse and here we go. I already added here, just copy it and then manage user, paste it. Addition it is, let's check the key name. I come to postman, see the key name. Addition, addition details, write it. After that, so JSON data, copy this and create this method. Most so JSON data title. Now after that, uh, uh, use compact icon. Um, that. Okay. Let's copy this. Details, addition details, addition details, 
next to your social media links. Wait, let's wait. The links, social media links, social links. Can you guess also? Now we have to solve JSON data. So in public we solve JSON data methods. Just down here. This code state it now. This state are not clear here, so just add this also here. Open JSON data all three, copy it, manage user, paste it here. After that, uh, let's set this value here. Now, the data. Now set this value and enter this value. So if I come here in manage warehouse, I have a model which is correctly calling when we save the data. This is for JSON data. Let's copy this dialog and manage the paste it. Paste it here. Let's import the dialog. For dialog content, yet complete, perfect, imported, under close, directly we can say set and false. Now save it back to Chrome with this page and and if I check again. Telephone review. You can see test user six. I click on edit service. You can see test user six. That is working fine. Now, the thing has been done for our user, and you have done all the things logic like searching, sorting, everything is working. We can add a custom filter also for each field, and we can also add a JSON data for viewing the data. We can also add a toggle status. Now in the next tutorial, I will work on the permissions. So we can work with permission and we can assign permissions to the users. But right now, let's do one more thing. So after that, let's do one more thing. I'm not gonna do it here, but right now I'm just adding one more thing. So here I'm gonna adding an action. Build action. Adder name action with uh, 100 and enter set forums and here showing a button for edit. So here is a simple concept in the previous one for edit. Like this way, let's copy this thing. Okay. Copy all this thing. Copy this thing. Paste it here. On edit click is not required. On edit click, we can navigate simply. So navigate. Let's form slash users less uh, passing the ID dollar forums dot o dot id. Now save it back to Chrome. If I see, I see the edit, click on it, it's fine, it's working. Again, manage user. Let's add a permission. So, for permission, I'm gonna add one more icon, icon button. Let's do nothing for now. Icon button, and let's check the icon for permission. So, and why icons? 
security. Yes, I think they, that I can use security IP for the permission. Save it. Save it back to Chrome. This page, and we can see the security IP that we can use for permission. That's perfect. Heading B, other parameter. Save it back to Chrome. Now it's fine. Okay. That we can use for permission. Now that's it. I have done all the things in my part component. I have done manage user. I have done create user. I have added a custom filter or we can say advanced filter. I can enter the JSON data. I can show the profile picture. All the thing has been done. So I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. Please like our video and please subscribe our channel. And if you have any question, please do comment.